Hey everyone, so what I thought I would do is share a quick um, money making idea for those of you who are looking to make more money, um, easy ways to make money online. Um, I do have a course coming out that is um, going to be teaching um, how to create websites, how to build websites um, for businesses or personal use, how to monetize websites and the different ways that you can make money from websites, whether you're selling those websites or using them for personal use. But I am also going to be teaching affiliate marketing in there and um, a few different methods for that, as well as teaching people how to create uh, e-commerce stores and simple ways to source products to sell on your e-commerce store and the basics of setting up um, paid advertising or pay-per-click advertising um, through different uh, platforms online in order to help drive traffic to your site. So you can uh, click the link below. If there is a link below, wherever you're viewing this video. Um, if not, uh, I just thought I would share a tip in, in this video on teaching you how to um, make some extra money. Um, this can be pretty lucrative for a lot of people if you take the time to go and do it. So what you want to do is you want to go to ebay.ca um, or .com. It doesn't really matter. If you're in Canada, .ca is a good place to start. Now, this is a type of retail arbitrage. That's what they refer to it as, um, where you can find products um, that are being successfully sold on platforms such as eBay, uh, Amazon, etc., you find the same products and then based on the prices that they're selling for you can um, buy your product and then sell the product for a higher price um, and you can make the profits okay so what you want to do is go to ebay.ca search for whatever item you may be interested in okay so there's a multitude of items thousands and thousands and thousands of product ideas but for example let's say you're somebody who visits a lot of thrift stores um, like a value village um, if you have that or another type of thrift store um, trying to think flea markets um, garage sales uh, anything like that okay any of those types of platforms those types of places those types of uh, retail environments where you can go and look through products, source products, etc. So you, you want to come on eBay, you want to put in a particular item. So let's say salt and pepper shakers. Okay. Hit enter. Let it bring up the results. Now over here, depending on how you're looking at eBay, if you're on your um, smartphone, you can do the same thing. It'll obviously it's going to look a little different because it's optim it's mobile optimized to fit the the screen of your device. I'm currently on a laptop. Okay, so on my laptop, if you look over on the left hand side, you'll see categories, etc. You go down and you can filter your results, so you can select specific items okay you can see how they're categorized um, salt shakers salt and pepper bottles etc etc ceramic glass metal plastic porcelain silver whatever okay you can sure you can go through there and you can pick specific things it's not really down now this is something that some people may know about the average person won't think of this and won't know really about doing this but this is how a lot of um, people who are looking to make uh, money online through different methods, this is how they are doing this. So they would come down, um, all listings, you can keep it at that. You could do buy it now if you wanted to. You could select buy it now, but I'm, I'm going to leave it blank. I'm going to come down. You're going to look for completed items. You're going to check that. And you're going to check on sold items so this is a feature that a lot of people don't think of when they're on eBay but if they want to see 
what items are successfully being sold on eBay. You would come in and you would select those settings, completed items, oops, and sold items, which it didn't take. You should be able to select them both. The computer I'm on is a little bit slow, so I don't know why it's not slow. There we go. Okay, so completed items and sold items. Now I should refresh the screen. This isn't the fastest laptop in the world. But now, so if you come on here, it's showing you the items, all the items under um, the particular subject that you've searched for. It's going to show you all of the items that have been sold. Okay, so $30.58 with $29 shipping, okay? And it's being sold from the United States, okay? Anybody can do this. Search through here, you'll see all sorts of items, crazy items, different unique salt bat, uh, a thrift store, um, uh, a value village, if you happen to have something like that in your um, country or the area that you're in, or any other um, discount type of stores or clearance type, type of stores that you might find items or if it's something like this where there's a lot of collectors involved in salt and pepper shakers obviously things like garage sales um, estate sales uh, flea markets that type of um, place is going to have these types of items right so if you can find unique things there are collectors out there that will buy these things okay some aren't so great but again Chances are something like this. That's actually a low price. I'm surprised because there's a lot of collectors that if these are unique items and they're looking, you'll see the prices will really, will really um, go up for items like this that are unique. Plus the shipping, you got to understand too. Chances are on here when people are putting shipping costs in there, they're probably adding to their shipping costs as well. So let's say the shipping on this, maybe it was ten bucks. Okay, they've added another twelve ninety four on there that they can pocket themselves, all right? So people inflate the, usually inflate the prices of shipping as well. Um, they do that um, on when they're dealing with e-commerce a lot of times. Even when people are building e-commerce stores, a lot of times they're putting a price, but they're also making sure that they make a little bit in the shipping too, okay? So they're adding another $5, $8, $10 to the shipping in a lot of cases. You don't have to do that, but... Um, it is something that a lot of people do in order to give themselves that little bit extra profit. But if we want to get this where it's a little more interesting, we can go to, uh, we should be able to filter these to highest price. So I want price plus shipping, highest first. Okay, so I'm going to change the order of these. So it's going to show all the highest priced items first. And you'll see some crazy things on here. Some things that will have you wanting to run out to your thrift stores, and, uh, your garage sales and flea markets. Okay, so salt and pepper shakers. Okay, rare blue glass salt shaker pair. Okay, corn pattern, $781.27. All right. Now this was a bid offer. This wasn't a buy it now uh, listing. Buy it now listing is obviously you're setting the price and um, that's what you're expecting to get for the price. Certain circumstances, that might be what you want to do, but in other circumstances, when you find unique items, you may want to list them as a, as a bidding uh, listing. So that's what's happened here. They had 10 bids. There's obviously collectors for this, and they've sold for $781.27, plus $48 shipping. Okay? So... There's a lot of money to be made by doing this. This is something that anyone can do. You just got to take the time to do it. Here's another thing. Uh, 637.24. Okay. 650. 630. 579.99. So you can tell best offer. So this was a listing where they were accepting uh, bidding or best offer. And they accepted the best offer for these and they made 579.99 552.78 and it just goes on and goes on and you'll see some crazy unique items in here for sure but 
I'm sure we've all been to garage sales and estate sales or flea markets, etc., and we've found really unique items. Um, so yeah, so that's something that anyone can do. You know, if you can find these types of items out at um, these shops or these places, and you can list them um, on here for sale, you could be making yourself a lot of profit. There's people that do this on a regular basis, and they make thousands of dollars a month. Okay. I know of marketers online that do this exact thing and they swear by it. They, they're making, they're making, you know, money every month from doing this. You just have to take the time to do it. Okay. It'll also give you ideas when you start looking through these, like here's, what did I see up here? I don't know why this was in here, but this is a lunch. looks like, I don't know, it is salt and pepper shakers. But another good thing, it just reminded me, because another good thing would be probably old lunch boxes. Okay, there's probably collectors for that. We'll search that in a minute. But anyway, so you can see the prices. Like, it's just, it's mind-blowing to see what people are paying for this stuff. Okay, so this is a really, really, really good bit of information that I'm giving you here. Um, so let's go. Up. And anyone can do this. You can find these items. If, if you find them for a good price, you buy them, you try listing it or buy a couple items and try listing it on here and seeing um, what types of views and what types of bids or offers you're receiving, okay? 13,000 plus results, okay? Now I've got them, again, I have them sorted so that they're now being filtered from highest with shipping to the lowest, right? So that way you can see right off the bat just what, just how crazy some of the prices are. And like I used to say, somebody hasn't seen this out at their garage sale or out at their local flea market or an estate sale, and they didn't buy it for 10 bucks or 5 bucks. You know, it's just like these items that you hear about, these stories where people find these really rare paintings and things like that. That, to me, that's crazier and that's harder, a lot harder to do um, than something like this, okay? These are items that are unique that there's collectors out there for. So let's just search something else. You just gotta use, you gotta take the time to look, find something that you're interested in or that you think is a pretty common item. Uh, not hugs, <laughs> mugs, I must need a hug. Okay, so mugs, and we'll see what comes up. Gonna have for all categories. Okay, so mugs. You could put in old mugs, rare mugs, ceramic mugs, metal mugs. I haven't really specified, so because I haven't specified, it's just going to list anything that's a mug, right? So again, crazy things. These are ads. Uh, sorry, no, that's not an ad. So these are items that have sold. I'm not sure why this has come up in here. One thing about eBay is, is they don't always have the best um, search results for their listings. Sometimes you get these odd listings that pop up like this. I don't know why this has come up in here. It looks like a yeah, home theater projector. But anyways, mugs, mugs, okay? How many of us have been to thrift stores or out in estate sales, flea markets, garage sales, etc.? And you see mugs. Okay, you look through, and it'll, it, it, you're gonna look at some of this stuff and you're gonna be like, wow, like it's just unbelievable what people will pay for some of these items. Like, you, once you do this, you probably find that you're gonna be addicted to looking at it because, <laughs> and the ideas are just gonna start popping up into your head and you're gonna be on here searching, okay? So you don't want to overwhelm yourself. You maybe want to zero in on a couple items and then just just use those items and try and find some things like that. And if you're out on a Sunday or you're out on the weekend somewhere um, and you happen to be in any of these places that sell um, estate items or flea markets or garage sales or whatever, then you keep your eyes open for unique things, right? So if you look through here, like I said, you'll see some crazy crazy prices being paid for some pretty common simple items think about other things people collect right 
um, cuckoo clocks. I'm just going to put cuckoo clock. I know you can find cuckoo clocks sometimes at some of these places for some pretty um, decent prices. Again, you know, I'm not saying go out and spend, you know, hundreds of dollars because you're going to put it on here and you're going to find something that's going to pay you $7,000 for a cuckoo clock. Obviously, there's different clocks and things that are more in demand, right? So you're better to start with things that don't cost you a lot of money, um, but that are unique items, okay? And uh, just start doing your research by coming on and looking through these things. Cuckoo clocks, I mean... <laughs> You can find crazy prices on here. I don't even know if they're sorted still by highest to lowest. Yeah, price plus shipping, highest, okay? So they're sorted by the highest. Like $7,416 for that cuckoo clock, okay? $2,548, $2,000, All right. And you can just keep looking and looking of getting addicted to this and you could search um, let's see like coasters and just see what comes up Okay, again, we've got it sorted from highest to lowest. That's price plus shipping. So the highest um, prices are showing first. Like, it's just unbelievable to me. Louis Vuitton, but who's to say you're not at a flea market and you find that, or somebody at a garage sale or a state sale has that, has something like a Louis Vuitton set of coasters. Or, um, let me see what else is on here. Like just, just unusual, unique items. So you look through those, see the money that people are making. Um, what's something else? Let's try lunch boxes, old lunch boxes. I don't get too specific, like saying vintage and all that, because usually if you just put lunch boxes or mugs or whatever, it's going to give you all of those searches anyways. So again, we want to make sure it's price highest to lowest, price plus shipping highest. Okay. 4,460 underdog. If anybody remembers the underdog cartoon, that's obviously vintage lunch box, $3,823 near mint condition 2803 dollars gun smoke 2460 like these are things that you may stumble across at a flea market definitely or a garage sale even an estate sale and you'll see just the insane prices okay so imagine you were at a garage sale and you bought that for you found this and somebody was selling it for 20 bucks, 10 bucks, 5 bucks because they didn't know anything about it. So you buy it. It's old. It's vintage. It's in decent shape. It's $1,274. Plus $114.39 in shipping estimate. Which, again, he's not paying $114 to ship it. I doubt it. Um, obviously, some of these items would have to have um, insurance on them. So you're going to pay more. But again, these people, just knowing what I know from uh, e-commerce and things that I've done in the past, people are always marking, they're always adding additional money to the shipping, okay? A um, little bit extra, just to give them a, a little bit extra profit, all right? So anyone can do this. Um, just see, I thought of another one, thermoses, you know, you look up, th that's what I mean. So y you'll get to the point where you'll be wanting to look, you'll have all sorts of ideas popping in your head, but you really just need to pick a few items, get a few ideas of what's popular, what's being sold for decent prices, and then go out on the weekend or whatever when you're out and about, 
and just keep your eyes open for stuff. Just see if anything unusual comes up here. You'll probably see some vintage ones in here. Maybe not. I'm sure if I put in vintage, um, I would probably get more, um, more ideas. But let's think of something else. Uh, Um, let me see. Just thinking. Again, now this applies to old stuff. Okay, unique items. Um, you could put, you know, figurines. Uh, figurines. Right. If you have older um, family members or older parents, grandmothers, grandfathers, aunts, uncles. You know that figurines is a big thing for a lot of them. Back in the day, they had china cabinets full of um, figurines, etc. So you might have to put, if you wanted to look for ceramic or vintage figurines, let's do that. You'll be addicted after you see this method, but this is a legitimate method that people use to go and make money and they can make a lot of money doing this if you're finding items and you're you're you make a few sales you can start you know making yourself a hundred bucks a couple hundred bucks here and there even more i mean there's people i know there's people that are doing you know thousands of dollars a month by doing this type of stuff it's just if you want to do it you gotta make some effort to do it that's all you look at some of the figurines like some crazy things through there and get yourself an, an idea. You have to think of things that people collect, right? Obviously there are items that are just specifically collector items, but then there are collectors that will collect anything, obviously, that's unique and old, vintage, or different that they don't have in their collection too, like I said with the salt shakers. Salt and pepper shakers. Um, let's see if there's anything under uh, candy dishes. I'm just thinking of things that you find at like thrift stores or flea markets, garage sales. Yeah, I mean, there's really no, no um, right or wrong for your searches. I mean, even new items. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so we're still on highest to lowest, price plus shipping. Just unique candy dishes. See, now a figure is coming in here. Oh, it's a candy dish, though. That's why. Um, you know, you get the idea, right? So you go through here, it'll blow your mind. Um, what else? Um... something else in my mind now obviously comics is going to be specific comics are, are rare um, so it's a little bit more to it for something like that but still just to give you an idea okay comics old comics right prices that will blow your mind again now these are um, ones that have been professionally appraised obviously and they're they're given a grade on the condition of the comic but if you get looking through there it's gonna make you cry okay so you can go through stuff like that now again like I said that's a little more um, involved as far as the rarity of the comics and stuff and ones that are in demand and then the condition of the comic etc um, things like um, vintage signs 
right? So you think of things like old Coca-Cola signs, old Coca-Cola crates, old Pepsi signs, old Fanta signs, you know, whatever, right? I'm sure there's probably license plates on here. I bet you I could search old license plates and there'll probably be collectors for that. Uh, okay, we're still on that price per shipping, highest to lowest. And then look, Coca-Cola signs, like it's just, it's unbelievable, the signage. Old signs that you might see somewhere or somebody might have at the garage sale or you might find in a thrift store or that somebody dropped off to like a value village or, um, you know, whatever other, like a Goodwill store or Salvation Army, whatever type of thrift store you're going in or that you have in your area, right? Now, hold on. I want to make sure here because I don't know if we're still on. Oh, we lost our... Oh, let's go. We lost our setting here. Oh, sold. This computer is running so slow, so I just got to make sure. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I might have did that on the other pages too. It's got to be in the green, right? So if you have completed listings and sold items selected over on the left hand side here um, it's going to show them in green because it's saying that that's what they ended up selling for okay but you look at the old signage right it's just unbelievable and again we've all been to flea markets i'm sure um, old sometimes you see this old stuff there and there's somebody out there that's collecting it so you never know so that's another idea Sorry, I'm just giving you a bunch of ideas here just to show you the power of it. So you can keep looking and keep looking for old stuff, different items, mugs, glassware, old spoons, plates, china, ceramic figurines, crystal, you know, whatever, right? Just use your imagination, come up with some ideas. But you can also do the same thing for newer items too. So you might be in a store and there might be an amazing sale on on kids clothes that are Nike. Nike um, kids clothing. Okay. So let's say for kids, right? Like up to, I don't know, maybe you're out somewhere, you're out at a Winners or you're out at, you know, wherever you are, so a clearance store and they have an amazing deal on uh, Nike stuff. Now let's make sure that our settings are still set. Yeah, those are set. So then you can do the same thing. You can come in here. You can look. You can find. So this is obviously somebody who sold. Oh, they've got the tags on them. So somebody's found a deal on a whole bunch of Nike stuff. They bought it all and then they decided to list it on here with the sizes. And they've sold all of it for $254.90 plus $36.62 shipping. So they may have got, let's say they got these for, I don't know, 10 bucks, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's say it cost them 100 bucks for all of that because it was a sale on at a clearance uh, store or clearance somewhere. They bought it, they bought the same size. They put them all together into a lot, and then they listed them on eBay. They got 254 so they made, let's say, $154, $155, and then their shipping, chances are they made themselves another 10 bucks or 15 bucks on shipping. So that's what people are doing, okay? So anybody can do this. You could search this for anything, even if it's new stuff. Jewelry would be another one. Unique jewelry, maybe you find old vintage jewelry out somewhere at a flea market or whatever. Anybody can do this stuff. Backpacks would be another good one. Maybe old backpacks, um, tools, playing cards. I bet you there's one for vintage playing cards. Maybe I'm wrong. It's probably old board games like Hey, here you go. Vintage playing cards you know <laughs> playing cards old packs pokemon that's popular 
I get the prices are just unreal. So you could continue to do this and come up with ideas and you could look for these items yourself, buy them for a reasonable price, you know, don't go and break the bank, but I mean, if you see them and you're willing to spend a little bit of money, take it home, try an item or two, put it on eBay, set up your account on eBay, set it up, set the price you want if you're doing a buy it, uh, a buy it now listing or if you're doing a bid listing. If you're doing a bid, then people that are interested are going to bid on it. And then when they bid on it, then other people that are interested, they're going to bid higher and it's going to continue to go up. And you usually, when you're setting up a bid um, listing, you're setting a price usually that you're prepared to sell it for. Um, but yeah, so it's as, it's as simple as that. And then, like I said, you can find out if, you know, from uh, your local post office, um, you know, what shipping would cost to pack an item like that that weighs so much weight how much it would cost to ship it within canada um within a certain geographical location or if somebody buys it and they're from the united states that's fine too you just have to the shipping has to be um just changed uh basically to match their geographic location right and lots of times, like I said, people will add extra money into the um, the shipping costs just to make themselves a little bit extra, right? They'll add another five, ten bucks. Sometimes you'll see, if you go through eBay, you'll see crazy shipping prices on small items. And it's because they're lowering the price of the item itself to make it more appealing for people. But then they're making sure that they're making some profit in the shipping. So they're adding on that extra... 10 bucks 15 bucks 20 bucks to the shipping that's just what people do in the e-commerce space online i've seen it lots of times i've done it myself with certain things where i've added a little bit to the shipping to make more so anyways i thought that would be of interest um, to you um, people that are trying to make extra money everybody wants to have extra money so this is an easy way to do it there is another method that you can do um, with like amazon and in another video, I'm going to show how you can do that as well. And um, you can sell through Amazon, etc. And you'll have an idea of what's sold and what items are popular, what they're selling for, and how much you'll make before you even buy it. So anyways, hopefully you'll check the link below, um, depending on where you're watching this video, so that you can check out the course that I'm going to be offering. And uh, I'll see you in my next video.